So our blog application is fully functional, but it doesn't look the best. It would be nice if we had some better CSS. And of course we could go into the style sheets and actually write our own custom CSS. But there are a couple options that we could use in Rails. We could use CSS bundling to add uh, Bootstrap or something like that. Or we can use the Tailwind CSS Rails gem to add Tailwind CSS. So this is a gem that DHH created a while back and it will install Tailwind CSS and allow you to uh, use that and take advantage of it in your application. So what we're gonna do is follow the installation instructions for this and we're gonna run bundle add Tailwind CSS Rails. This is gonna add the gem to our gem file, install the dependencies, and then afterwards we will run this Rails Tailwind CSS colon install command to install it. And this is actually just a wrapper around the Tailwind CSS CLI. So we get all the functionality of the CLI that's built in and it's wired up to work automatically with Rails for us. So this is finished. And one of the things that it changes is that we don't want to run our Rails server anymore. And the reason for that is that only runs the Rails server by itself. The Tailwind CSS Rails gem and often the other CSS and JavaScript libraries to do more advanced stuff in Rails needs the Rails server running and an extra process. So for Tailwind CSS, there is a watch command that will watch your HTML and look for changes. And if you've changed it, it will recompile the CSS and only include the things that you need in that CSS file. So it's really handy that it can do this stuff. And uh, in order to use this, we need to then run the bin dev command, which is defined and added to your Rails application as bin dev. And it is a very simple bash script and it says, hey, if Foreman is installed, great, uh, run Foreman. But if it's not installed, install it first and then run Foreman. And that is all there is to it. Foreman will then look at your proc file and start all of the processes listed here. So this is a common approach you will see now in Rails 7, where you need to run Rails server and other things for CSS, JavaScript, maybe background workers, and other things might go in here as well. But all we need is the Tailwind CSS watch command. And another thing that's happened when we installed this is that it has opened up our application layout view, and it's added this Tailwind style sheet link tag here at the top. So inside of your style sheets directory under app assets style sheets, you now have application CSS and application tailwind.css. We're not really gonna use the application CSS because this is uh, all of the CSS from Tailwind. So we could even remove that application CSS line from our, uh, from our template here but it's fine to leave that in as well. So what we can do is we can refresh our page here after we run bin dev, which we will see starts two processes, web and CSS, and it also separates the logs out for us accordingly. And then we can refresh our blog and now it looks very different. It looks a little wrong because Tailwind CSS by default removes all the styles from everything. But in order to put them back and have one simple tag that takes care of most of the effort for designing things, we can add the pros tag in, which is a class that will apply a bunch of default styles for your, um, your HTML tag. So your H1s will be big and bold. Your paragraph tags will have a certain height. Um, your H2s will have padding up and uh, above and below and so on. So we can go and basically fix our styling to look a bit better here with our um, if, with our new Tailwind styles. The other thing is we can put MX Auto on here for margin auto on the X axis, which will center our blog. And it's already, Pros is already set up to limit the width of your content as well. So it is, uh, I forget where, max width of 65 characters, and then MX Auto will make sure that that is centered on the page. So here we have our blog, we can use all of this uh, like normal, and then we can go to uh, users sign in, and you'll notice that it also has some styles for forms. Buttons do not have styles, so you wanna add some basic styling to those. 
So if we wanted to go and do that, we can then run uh, in another terminal, Rails devise, Rails generate devise views. And this will copy the views out of the device gem into your Rails application. And when it looks up the device views, it'll check your Rails app first, see that those views are there and use them instead of falling back to the gem. So here under app views device, for example, sessions new, our submit login, we can add a class to that and say um, background gray 100 will have padding of maybe PX4, PY2, and we'll have it a rounded button. And if we refresh our page, now we have a little, you know, nice little button here. And we can also do hover states too. So background gray 200. So when we hover over this button, it will turn darker gray. So you are free to add all your styling as needed. Um, with Tailwind CSS, you can also use the CSS bundling Rails gem to you install Bootstrap or another CSS framework. Or of course, you can write your own CSS in your application.css style sheet. But I like using Tailwind. It allows me to iterate faster and uh, is one of my favorite tools. So that is what we needed to do to make our blog look a lot prettier. And then next step is I would like to be able to create a blog post and a draft state. And I would like to be able to publish that blog post at a certain day and time. So let's work on that in the next episode.